This is a quick video to show you how to use an add-on in Google Forms called Form Ranger. Form Ranger allows you to dynamically add items to either your checkboxes, multiple choice, or dropdown based on data that you're pulling from a range in a spreadsheet. So I have a very simple survey here that just asks, choose all the types of pets you have. It's got dog, cat, fish, mask, and hamster. Uh, if I go over to pet survey here, uh, this is where my form responses are going to end up. But what I could do is create a list of pet types. So I have, um, I've created a, a sheet here called pet list. I'm just going to write pet types at the top as my form header. And then I'll list the pet types that I want to appear here. Okay, I've got my pet types listed here. I'm going to go back to my survey now, and I'm going to actually delete all these options. Just like this. Now, actually, one option has to be, has to stay, so I'll leave that. And I'm going to go up here and install Form Ranger. Now, I already have it installed, but I'll show you how you do it. You push these three dots, go to add-ons. In the list, you can search for Form Ranger. And there it is there. I can push the three dots and choose install. And you might have to go ahead and give Form Ranger rights to look at your Google Docs and stuff. I've already got it installed, so we're good. All right. Next up, we're going to set it up. So I'm going to go ahead here to this puzzle piece. That's where I can view my add-ons. And I'm going to go to Form Ranger. And we need the Start button. So I'm going to go ahead and say Start. What Form Ranger does first is it goes and sees any potential questions that could use Form Ranger, and it creates a list of them here. Now I only have one potential question that we can use and we need to go ahead, it's this one, choose all the types of pets you have. We need to go ahead and populate this list of options from a range. So I check the check mark, say new range with the plus button. The first thing I do is choose the sheet I'm working with. So I'm going to use this pet survey response because that's the one I am working with. I'll say select. Next, we'll choose the range. Actually, first, we'll choose the sheet. So this has three different sheets. So we'll go here to pet list. And then it has found a column named pet types. If I had other column headers, they would be listed here as well. But I only have one in that sheet. And there that is dog, cat, fish, bird, mouse. I'm going to go ahead and hit next. And then you have to name the range. I'll call it pets. Save and populate. And now, automatically, it pulls in all this data, which is pretty cool. Now, I could have it auto repopulate this every hour or every time the form is submitted. Why don't I do that? I could actually turn both on. And now, if we ever add something new to the list, it'll automatically repopulate. So, for example, I've got dog, cat, fish, bird, mouse. Maybe I add hamster to the list. And now after a form submit, or after an hour's worth of time, let's just do a form submit for simplicity's sake. We can see hamster is now added to the list. 